In this video, we will discuss about views in Coordinator 4 to build response. In our previous video, we have already discussed about model view controller in Coordinator 4 project. You can watch that video by clicking on the eye icon on top right corner. So open your project in VS Code. So I am going to create a new controller. So I will name it as build response dot php and I'll copy the controller code from home dot php to save my time. And here I'll create a new function with name show. And there is already a form so I'm going to show this view in my controller. So return view and view name which is show form. Now open this URL in web browser. But before this we have to start our server. So go to your project's root directory, open command prompt and type php space spark space so. Now server is started. So here is our form. So this is the basic use of the view function to display view from controller. So now we will display multiple views in single function. So if we replace return with the echo and reload our page, then we will get the same form. This means that if we want to show multiple views then we can echo them respectively so i'll create a new file for heading for heading and here i'll move the and here i'll move the heading part so if i only, so if I only run this if i only show this form then there's no title then there is no title in the tab bar. So if, I include, so if I include this heading file as well. So go to your controller and echo your heading. Save this file and, save this file and reload the page. And now you can see that my title is showing in the tab bar. Which means now my two views are displaying in same function so i'll create a new file for my footer i'll name it as footer.php i'll use h4 and in, this I will display. and in this i will display footer of my page so if i display this view as well after my form so if I echo view and show the footer and reload our page so now footer is also showing with the page this means we can show multiple views in same function using the echo keyword instead of return 
if you want to show only single view then you can use echo or return it depends on you but if you want to show multiple views then you have to use echo so if you want to display view from sub directory so these views are in the views directory but if there is an, another folder in our views folder and our view is inside that sub folder then how to load that file is simply go to views folder and create a new folder i'll name it as body and i'll create a new file here i'll name it as section.php and in this i'll simply return h2 and i'll print section part so to load so to load this file which is inside the body subfolder we can simply echo our view we can simply echo our view then our subfolder name then our subfolder name which is body then our view file which is section that's it now save this file and reload our page and the section is also showing here this is how we can load view from sub directories as well so how to create loops in our view we have simply displayed our views on screen and in our previous video we have passed dynamic data to our view but now we will deal with the loops in our view so to apply loops i'll create a new file here in the body i'll name it as loops.php and in this i'll create an unordered list and then i'll and then i'll loop through my variable and display list so first i'll create a new so first i'll create a new variable which will contain multiple items which will be displayed in the unordered list so i'll name it as list so i have inserted few values in my variable and i'll pass that list to our view so first display our view which is inside body sub folder and the name is loops and then we will pass the data i'll name the variable as list and the value would be our list variable which we have created now we will access this list variable in our view and loop through it to show this data in list so we are inside our view so first we'll call our php function and we can access this list variable inside the loops.php file so here i will use for each keyword then in the brackets i'll pass the variable name which is list list and we'll list and we will iterate it and it will iterate in items then use caller so here we can do our looping part to close the for each loop we have to use and for each keyword so we can use here and for each then semicolon so this is how we can create for each in our view file in coordinator 4 so now let's print this item in our li tag the variable name is item now save this page and reload this page as you can see that these values are showing in for each loop so this is how you can use for each in your view files
now let's learn about that how to use if else else if and else in your view files so i'll create a new file i'll name it as conditions dot php so here i'll use some conditional code for this i'll create a variable uh, i'll name it as has data now store false here and i'll pass that variable to my view sorry i'll pass this to my new view so echo your new view which is body and then conditions and pass and pass a variable to view so inside the conditions so inside the conditions now i can use that variable For example, I want to display heading here, like this, as to. So if I reload our page, so if I reload our page, we will get this heading on the screen. Like this. So now we will. Like this. So now we will show and hide this heading according to our this boolean. So copy the variable name. and here we can use our condition so php here i can use if and pass our condition which is this variable so if yes. so if its value is true then display this and and if and and if Now reload our page. And the heading is gone because the and the heading is gone because the has data is false. So let's change its value from false to true. Now reload our page. Now heading is showing. This means that our if condition is working here. So now how to use else condition here? So else is the same as the if condition. So here we can use else. So here we can use else, then colon, and then we can print our another condition. So I'll print. This will be else code. And I'll name it as this will be if code. Now save our page and reload this page. So it's showing that this is. this will be if code because our value is true so if i change its value from true to false and reload our page now it's showing that this will be else code because our value is false so this is how we can use if and else in our view file so now let's learn about how to use else if in our view file so write else if and then colon and then your condition so i'll create a new variable here another bool another bool and i'll pass true here so i'll pass this variable to my view now go to our view now go to our view and here use that variable which we have passed and then colon and here i'll print this will be else if code so now save our code so now save our code and reload this page so our first variable is false which means it's not going here and the another variable is true which means that it's going here and it's printing this will be else if code so if i change its value 
to false then this will go inside the else case so now reload our page and now it's showing the else code this will be else code which means now it's going in this case so this is how we can use if else if as if in our coordinator for views thank you for watching this video please subscribe to my channel and share with your friends as well so i can create more valuable content for you follow us on other social media accounts as well links are in description of this video